quick tutorial how we can recreate exactly this effect I created like here on my product animation iPhone case. Yeah, leave a like, check it out. I would appreciate it. And yeah, you see, we will recreate like this pattern moving up when the phone hits the stone. And I think that's really cool, very effective. And yeah, it looks like in the animation really nice and it's really easy. And yeah, just a few of you ask me how to do that. Yeah, like Ahmed Uzair and some other people like in the DMs and like some other posts. So yeah, let's do it. And here we have the scene in Cinema 4D. And yeah, it's just, you see, like it's hitting and then it starts like to show and it's just going up, going up, going up the more we go through the scene. And if you see, there is like a box field and yeah, we can control with the box field this pattern. So yeah, let's, um, I will show you exactly how to do it like in a second on exactly that example. But first of all, I will just show you like the principles behind it. So you just understand what's happened. So here we, uh, we have just like two spheres and a plane. And yeah, just like for a comparison for the fact that we will do, it's very important to have like a high po uh, poly version. So we create just two spheres and then we just make them both uh, editable. And then we just select all the uh, polygons of both of them and we go to select and set the vertex weight and we set the value to zero. Everything what is now red, like we can see it only if we go like here to, to those um, vertex tags, vertex map tags, like everything what is red is zero, but we need like to control the value to one. So what I mean by that, if we go to our high poly model, and we go to use fields and we create like a box field. You see already something is happening, but let me just do it different. I will make it just a little bit uh, just like that. So it's like very thin, you know what I mean? And now if I just bring the box field down, you see already like where the box field is, it turns yellow and everything what is yellow is like it's like a mask. It's like one is yellow and zero is red. And this, uh, the thing is, it's very important to have like a high poly version because if we put in like the same box field into that and we go out of the mesh mode and we activate them both and make it maybe a little bit uh, just bigger. So yeah, one second. You see the more polygons we have, the more cleaner it looks so yeah we could make it even more clean but i think you get the point and yeah it's and now it's just like really um yeah just to show it to you like how we will do it later with the material it's also very important like to just understand the basics so we just go to materials and we just create like a, a composite material and we throw that composite material onto that uh, sphere we go into it and we just create like two very basic materials, a black one and a white one. And you see, like if we go up with the vertex field, everything is red. And if we bring it down, you see nothing happens. Why is it? Because we have to tell the material that we, the material have to use like this, uh, the vertex map. So in that, in Octane, we just have like a vertex map, like in Redshift, I think it's kind of the same, like, I don't know, but it's, there should be also something like that. And we just put the vertex map into the material to mask. So the material it knows we have to use the vertex map as a mask. And now if we go down with the box field, you see nothing happens. Why? <laughs> because we have to additionally tell the vertex map that we that it should use exactly this field here from our high poly um, sphere so now you see when we go down it works perfectly fine as we wanted and yeah and now you could i don't know you could just like i don't know like you go to the box field on frame zero you go like i don't know 30 to frame 30 you bring that field up and make a keyframe again and now Boom, you see, okay, that was of course very fast. But yeah, that's exactly what I did. So if we go back to our glow pattern and we delete everything here. So now we see if we start the render, nothing happens and we have no material. 
how we will create it. First of all, we have to give like this case here, just a glass material or something. So we just go like a crate, just a specular material, and just we uh, throw that specular material on the on the case. So now you see, yes, it's I'm not in a subdivision surface because yeah, it will be just too slow, but you get the point. So it's like this case. And now we have to create on the surface of the glass or the case material like this interesting pattern here, but just on the surface as you see. So that's pretty easy. We create again a material, but this time a diffuse one because you see it's glowing. So we need like a diffuse material. Oh, but one more important thing is we have to create a selection on the surface of the case. So yeah, we'll just go to to our case, to the polygon mode, Alt Q for like soloing it. And we just select like all the polygons. So yeah, in that example, I won't do it like absolutely perfect. So it's just fast. And yeah, I will just select like those loops here. And then with UF, I will fill the selection and just uh, grow it a few times. So yeah, we have something like that. You see, it's like not the backside because then it's too much of the pattern. So I just want it like on, on the surface that we see. So now we have a selection and we go to select and set selection and Alt W to, to go back. And now we can create like this octane diffuse material that we just created and bring it like onto our case and tell the material, yo, uh, check out like here our selection. And now we go into our Octane Diffuse and first of all, we just make it glow. So we go to the emission, black body emission and just like a texture RGB and you see already something is happening and yeah, it's, it's blue, it's very bright, very nice. And now um, we have to take like um, some kind of a pattern of you want, you could basically take everything but it has to be a mask so black and white would be perfect and yeah i just have here like just type in on google free hexagon pet pattern like that's like a hexagon pattern and you can just download it and yeah just drag in this png into it and make a type as an alpha and now so what we have to do we want that um let me go a little bit further so yeah somewhere here and again, we have to create like this vertex map first of all. So we can, so our material is either there or not. So what do I mean by that? So we go to our case here and we select like all of the polygons. So with just with control click. And again, we just go to select set vertex weight and again, just the zero. So yeah, you see everything is blue. And now, yeah, I just uh, delete the, the field from before. So again, we just go to the tag, use fields and create a box field here. And you see already, yeah, it's, it's not in the right position. So let's just bring it up and just, yeah, just reposition it here with like this PSR thing. And now just let me, let me just bring that away here. Now you see we have like our box field here. And let's just make it a little bit uh, thinner and just like a little bit bigger in, in, in that. So yeah, you see it's, it's now working. And as you see, it's not so clean because yeah, we are not subdivided. So for best results, just create like a subdivision surface and make it editable. And then you have like a high poly case. But yeah, in that example, that's uh, good. So now we just have to create like this pattern and, 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 and tell that the pattern and only the pattern is showing when the vertex map is activated. So let's do it. Let's go back to our material here. And yeah, we have like the emission, but you see it's it's like always on. So what we have to do is just take the vertex map node and put it into the opacity and tell the vertex map so we have to take this selection. And boom, you see, like now, if we go up with the uh, vertex field, it reveals only like our glow here. So how do we create like now our pattern? We have our texture here or any other pattern that you want. And we have to mix it with the vertex map. So it's the vertex map is telling like where to glow, but we also have to mask that all glow out. 
So for that, like, comes the multiply node into the game. And we just plug both of those textures into the multiply node. So this is the pattern here. It's, it's not showing. And this is our vertex map. And we take them both to the opacity. And boom, you see exactly what we need. So now we can just play with the projection mode. Uh, of course, best results is if you UV unwrap it, but we just bring it to box mode here. And again, just a transform mode and we just make it a little bit uh, smaller. So yeah, but yeah, exactly. So you see if we bring like our stones back and I don't know, we go to frame zero and the phone is just uh, dropping, dropping and you see like nothing is glowing. And we go down, 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 and boom, here it starts. So yeah, we can go like just a little bit uh, before it, it, it drops. And if we bring here like our field up, then you see already we get our uh, pattern here. So what we will do is just we go to the box field and we just record the position. And now when the phone is dropping, yeah, some, somewhere here, we just bring like the field a little bit up. So yeah, we just record it here. And now you see the phone is dropping. It's getting yellow. It's shining because yeah, the case is awesome. And the case yeah, is, is falling and falling. And like that shock wave is going like up and up and up. And yeah, that's basically it. So super easy, uh, make just a UV unwrap. And yeah, if you subdivide it here, you see it, yeah, it would be even more smaller, but we just have to do like a new selection. But yeah, that's it. Very cool effect, very fast. Let me know what you think and yeah, leave a like, subscribe and see you in the next one.